This is the city of Münster in the state of North Rhine-Westphalia. It's also known as Germany's bicycle capital because there are twice as many bikes as people. There is a huge bicycle rental, parking and service garage right at the central train station. It's got room for 3,300 bikes. Very convenient, especially for commuters. You can have your cycle repaired, serviced or even washed. It's all here. And tourists like me can even rent a bike to explore the city. Münster was founded 1,200 years ago. This is where great European history once took place. But in matters of environmental protection, Münster also has a great reputation and is considered a green city. Sounds like an exciting day to me. I thought the best place to start my tour was the promenade. It's sort of Münster's bicycle highway and circles the outskirts of the old town. Münster may be old, but its population is young. Of the city's 300,000 inhabitants, 60,000 are students. Nearly everyone here rides a bike. Cycling paths crisscross the city and the directional signage is excellent. The Principalmarkt in the heart of the old town is considered one of the most beautiful squares in Germany. The gabled houses date back to the days of the Hanseatic League. A splendid example of the late Gothic architecture, St. Lamberti's Church. The town hall was the site of an important event in the 17th century. In recognition of that, it was awarded the European Heritage Label. In the council chamber, known as the Friedenssaal today, I have an appointment with historian Franz Josef Jacobi. What happened here in this room in 1648? Part of the Peace of Westphalia was signed in this room. The special peace, the separate peace between the Spanish Habsburgs and the rebellious Calvinist northern provinces of the Netherlands. Let's go over here. Oh, can we go behind the barrier? This is a depiction of the council chamber, just as you also see it now, and the swearing of the oath of the ratification. The contractual document is in this casket. The Spaniards are swearing on the Bible, as you see on the right. The Dutch are raising their hands to take their oath. They all look so alike. They have the same hairstyle. Was that usual for the time? If you look closely, they do differ, of course. The Dutch are wearing more mercantile clothing and the Spanish are wearing the diplomatic garb of the time. What did that peace mean for Europe at that time? The conclusion of the Peace of Westphalia, the great overall peace agreement, put an end to the Thirty Years' War. Many have spoken of the fact that it was also the birth of international law. An essential point was recognition, the absolute guarantee of the independence of sovereign nations. What was significant about it? Negotiations were used to resolve the conflict. There was no ceasefire until this peace agreement was reached. And you could negotiate a peace treaty without there being clear victors and vanquished. That was unique at the time. Now I'd like to pay a visit to Münster Cathedral. It was built in the 13th century and is a city landmark. About 90% of the old town was destroyed during World War II. In many large German cities, the ruins were replaced by modern buildings after the war. But in Münster, the people reconstructed their old town, at least in part, as it once was. 
The cathedral suffered heavy damage, but thanks to the determination of the locals, it was reconstructed by 1956. Münster, by the way, is a Catholic bishopric. I've been given special permission to go behind the altar to the cathedral. It's where the bishop sits during Mass. I've got another appointment now. I'm here to meet city councillor Matthias Peck. One of his areas of responsibility is sustainability in Münster. So naturally, he's come to our appointment by bike. How come everyone in Münster cycles? Cycling is just part of the Münster lifestyle. Everyone from the mayor to the bishop to city employees rides a bike because it's the fastest way to get around here. What can traffic planners from other places learn from Münster? We have a wonderful infrastructure for cyclists. It starts with a promenade, our small bike ring road around the old town. There are cycling streets and a 400-kilometer network of cycle paths in the Münster area alone. And we hope to allocate a lot of money to expand the network. Münster has also won awards for climate protection and its energy policy. What have you done to achieve that? One measure is the change in pension funds for employees and staff in the city of Münster. Here, the council consciously decided on diesel and CO2 neutral investment, avoiding child labor, avoiding businesses that invest in armaments, in order to point the way to climate protection and sustainability. Climate protection has a long tradition in Münster. Since the late 1990s, we've even had a department in the city administration devoted to the climate and energy. And we engage the public in discussions on these issues, issues such as wind turbines. We have our own combined cycle power plant and funding programs for solar energy, so it is a central focus. Do you always bike or do you have a car? I do have a car, but use it very rarely. I drive less than 5,000 kilometers a year. Thanks for your time. Yeah, My pleasure. Again. And off we go. My next stop is Asi, an idyllic lake in the middle of the city. And on the banks, art. That's something else Münster is known for. There's a sculpture on practically every corner. Some of them are pretty wild. Like the 100 arms of the Guanyin. These artworks were originally installed as part of the ongoing Sculpture Project Münster exhibition. It takes place every 10 years. A free app provides more about the sculptures and their creators. My final stop today is the Kuhviertel, a lively quarter popular with students. I'm going to pop into a quaint traditional restaurant called Pinkus Müller. Regulars can store their personal beer steins by the bar. By the way, organic beer has been brewed here since 1978. Just the place to reflect on my day in Münster. Münster is somehow both historical and innovative. I was able to travel far back in history, experience crazy art and get to know some great ideas about the climate protection. And the beer is delicious. So Münster is definitely worth a visit.